when Rojo first came to us, he was minimally responsive. There were reports that he had been having seizures. We gave him fluids right away and administered supportive care, and then we just monitored him very closely. So we're returning Rojo here in the Englewood area because this is close to where he was originally rescued. And we also know that there aren't any current red tide threats to him right now, so it's a good time to go ahead and return him. Carvel had a buoyancy problem, and it was believed that he had been struck by a boat. We also found on radiographs that he had four fractured ribs. And because he had air trapped in his chest cavity, we used medical management and were actually able to remove that air so that he would then be able to heal and start diving um, on his own. Once he made that turnaround from there, he did really well. Carvel is being returned here today because this is close to the site where he was originally rescued, so it's kind of his home territory. To watch an animal come in in fairly critical condition, turn around and fully recover to the point where we can bring them back out and return them to their natural habitat is really the highlight of what we get to do, and I can't describe how rewarding that is.